Hello friends, today we are going to look at external IP addresses, see what external IP addresses mean, how to reserve a static external IP address, how to attach that to a particular VM or a resource and you know all that kind of stuff. So let's get the get it over with, with the slides. So what is what is an external IP address? It's it's a static external IP address is an external IP address that is reserved for your project until you decide to release it. Which means that when you reserve a static IP address you get it until you let it go. It is similar to what we have in AWS which is what is what we call uh, uh, elastic IP address. It is the same thing uh, which gives you a static IP address that you can attach to the EC2 instance. Here you get the external static IP address that you attach to the Google Compute VM instances. Uh, you can reserve two types of external IP addresses, regional IP addresses, which you can go ahead and attach it to your virtual machine instances uh, uh, or your network NICs or your load balancers. Uh, global IP addresses which you can use to configure you know against HTTPS, SSL proxy or the TCP proxy. So before we move forward let's look at one terminology that we are gonna you know see when we are trying to create the static IP address. Uh, there is supposed to be something called network service tier. Now there are two options here. One is called premium, one is called standard. Uh, when you say premium service tier is where you want to create your static IP address, you get high throughput but it's gonna cost you more money. And when you say you want to have a standard network tier, a uh, network service tier, your performance of your routing, your traffic ingress and egress will be will be comparable to other cloud providers but it's gonna you know at the same time you're gonna save money by doing it so when you are using your workloads in the dev test environment it's it's perfectly okay to use standard but when you are using uh, in the production and if you if you if you require to have you know global access and if you are having you know global uh, presence and if your workload is very important for the people to be you know get to then you may want to choose you know premium service tier when you're creating the static IP address. Uh, how to use it? Pretty simple. You just reserve the IP address and you attach it to the resource. Pretty simple. Uh, there are some restrictions to it. Uh, you can only attach one external IP address to a resource at a time. Uh, one resource cannot get multiple IP uh, static IP addresses. It can have only one external static IP address. Uh, there is no way to tell when you are looking at the IP, uh, virtual machine instances saying that whether this party, particular virtual machine has the static IP address or is it just you know a formal IP address. Uh, there is no way to no way to tell just by looking at it but what you can do is you can go to your external IP addresses list you can grab the list and then you need to compare it against the IP addresses that you have against the virtual machines there are there are uh, commandlets to do that but it's a uh, pretty painful to do it from from the from the console uh, and each virtual machine instance can have multiple NICs but each interface can only have one external IP address that is either informal or static so if you need to attach multiple static IP addresses to your virtual machine all you do is you attach multiple NICs to it uh, now we are gonna get to the demos, uh, pretty simple demos, very short demos. So all we are gonna look at is we are gonna look at how do we reserve a static IP address, how do we assign it to the resource, how do we change the assignment of the IP, static IP address, how do we promote an existing informal IP address as the static IP address, how can we unassign the static IP address from the resource and at the end how do we release the external IP address so we are gonna go through all these exercises from the console they are pretty simple to do uh, so let's get to it hey guys so let's go ahead and look at how do we reserve the static IP address and work with it so here I have my project selected and I will expand the navigation menu and I will say go to VPC network. Now one thing you need to keep in mind that 
if it's a new account or if you haven't done it already then there is a quota attached to your external IP addresses and there is one so at most you can create only one static IP address if you need it to get increased you can submit a request it's a soft limit you can submit a request and Google will raise that limit but unless you submit that you can only create one static IP address so let's get to it we click on reserve static IP address and we give it a name saying my awesome static IP and we give it the description and we choose the service tier premium or standard if you say premium you're gonna pay more but you're gonna get enhanced networking and throughput if you say standard it is, it is gonna cost less but it will be you know not as good as premium for the purpose of demo we are gonna keep it standard you can you notice that the moment we change it to standard we only can do IPv4 version we cannot do IPv6 uh, again when you look at the type we can only do regional we cannot do global these are the limitations associated with the standard there is another limitation with the standard is that you cannot create standard in every region so you will see that if I change this to US East 4 it's gonna give me a error or warning saying IPv uh, sorry uh, standard tier is not available in the US East 4 you can only do it in US East 1 or Europe West 1 or US Central 1 so for that we will change it back to US East 1 change it back to standard regional here in the drop down you will see that we do not get any option because we do not have any any virtual machines running so if we had any virtual machines running we can simply pick it from here and this IP address will get attached to that so let's click on reserve and if you give it a second it is going to create IP address and right away it gives me the warning saying in use by says that you know it is not attached to any instance or load balancer uh, uh, and these things are built hourly so the moment we created it we are gonna pay for the ex, uh, for the whole hour uh, the only thing you want to make sure is that you create it in the region where you are gonna create your EC2 instance if you pick a different EC2 instance in different region while creating while creating the EC2 instance it is not gonna show up so let's go and click on compute engines and we click on create and we say my awesome uh, compute instance and we say we want to do it in US East 1 zone is good this is where we created our static IP address uh, we click on change here and we say pick Ubuntu 18.04 and we leave everything else as is we expand this thing here click on networking and we say in the default network interface we want to have external IP as the one we just created in the previous step and we select that we leave everything else as is and we say create this is gonna take a second or two to create the EC2 instance and then once it is created you can see that the external IP address here is 35 211 and if you just copy that and you go back to your external IP addresses you can see that it is the same IP address here and you can say it is being used by this virtual machine here the same way because we can only have one IP address for now the same way when you saw the drop down which said that uh, if you want to attach this IP address to a resource uh, you can always pick that up in this drop down here and that's how you attach it to an existing EC2 sorry is uh, existing virtual machine okay now we are gonna look at how do we promote an existing 
a formal IP address as a static IP address so for that what you do is you select the project and you go and you create a new virtual machine and you say create and you say uh, my existing VM leave everything as is change the operating system if you want and nothing else you just don't need to do anything else just if you need to change anything VPC or subnet or anything go ahead and do it here and then you say create and wait for it to finish creating your virtual machine okay now this virtual machine is created it has external IP address but this is not static it's an informal so in case if I turn it off and turn it back on chances are I'm gonna lose this IP address so now I made a mistake or somehow I created this virtual machine and I did not create a static IP address for it but I wanted to do it and I cannot turn it off and turn it back on again now what do I do it's pretty easy what you do is you go to your VPC and you say external IP addresses this is gonna list all the IP addresses that are assigned to all of your virtual machines all you do is you just select the type and from a formal you say this is gonna be my static and you say uh, my existing VM static IP and you say reserve and you are gonna get this one as reserve it's not gonna change the external address it is gonna reserve the one that is that it gave you so that you don't lose it that's the whole point and the same way if you have reserved a static IP address and you need to change it back to a formal you just go and change it back to a formal and it will become a formal you can see that so that is it for the demo and everything uh, I will see what else I can keep working on and share it with you guys thank you very